。承认泄露美国国家安全机密嘅系二十九岁嘅斯洛登，喺本港一间酒店接受英国《卫报》专访，表示泄密系发自良心。The public needs to decide whether these programs and policies are right or wrong. And I'm willing to go on the record to defend the authenticity of them and say I didn't change these, I didn't modify the story. This is the truth. This is what's happening. 斯洛登话自己因伤自美军退役后，喺国家安全局位于马里兰州大学嘅一处秘密设施做保安，之后转职中情局技术员，期间接触到大量机密文件。零九年，斯洛登加入一间国防合约承包商喺国家安全局驻夏威夷嘅办公室工作。上个月二十号，以伊治癫痫症为理由请假，带同一批同零镜计划有关嘅文件逃亡到香港，并将内容透露俾英国卫报同埋美国华盛顿邮报。斯洛登话：选择嚟香港系因为香港嘅网络监控比起西方国家都要宽松，但为躲避追捕，来港后只系曾经外出过三次。Hong Kong has a strong tradition of free speech. The people of Hong Kong have a long tradition of protesting in the streets, of making their views known. The internet is not filtered here. No more so than any other Western government, and I believe that the、uh, Hong Kong government is actually independent、uh, in relation to a lot of other leading Western governments. He 承认担心美国政府追捕会引导佢回国审讯，希望到冰岛寻求政治庇护。斯洛登泄密嘅内容包括美国国家安全局要求最大电信商之一威信每日提供数百万计嘅用户通话记录，同埋联邦调查局。聯同國家安全局自零七年起展開代號名為零鏡嘅秘密行動，透過谷歌、雅虎同埋 Facebook 等至少九間互聯網企業嘅伺服器獲取電郵、聊天記錄等資料調查。事件觸發美國媒體誇言，批評華府嘅做法嚴重侵犯個人私隱。香港寬頻電視記者李漢文報道。